Here we have a Canon EOS RP camera, mirrorless camera, that came in for repair. Customer mailed over the motherboard only. That's how the board looks like. And let's read what he wrote. The customer wrote, referral source, YouTube, description. We normally can replace SD cards on older digital cameras, but the new ones seem to be quite complicated. We have two questions. If we send you the board and the new SD card, will you be willing to try to replace it? Two, will you consider making a YouTube video on it? No videos of this and text all over the US will appreciate this very much. If I get a dollar for every time a customer asks for a video, I should start charging $100 for making videos upon request. We'll add it to the bill. Let this be the first customer. He's going to regret asking for a video. What can you do? This one is a bit tricky. I'll tell you why. Number one, we do see a plastic latch here, which is connected from back of the board. This has nothing to do with the SD card reader, but it's there. If we apply hot air, we have to be careful so it does not melt. Can we totally remove it and resolder it? Yes, two pins. But if we look at the front, there are no pins to solder on the front, so there's no reason why we should apply hot air in the front here. Now, as for the card reader, we see it's soldered onto a lot of pins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 pins. About 27 pins. Normally, what I would do is I would heat up from the bottom, remove that connector, prep the pads, put the new connector, heat up from the bottom, and that connector would flow in place and we're all good. But we cannot do this here. Why? Because we have plastic connectors on the back. That's a plastic connector. That's a plastic connector. And we have a plastic connector here. We have a plastic connector here. It's a lot of risk. If we hit up from the bottom, we're going to end up burning all those plastic connectors. And the board would need a lot more work than just replacing the SD card reader. So what's the next option? The next option would be to solder this connector pin by pin. One, two, three, four. Go over all the pins. I don't think we have any pins in the middle. Let me take a look at the new connector. We have the ones from the back. Front, we do not have any pins. We can do it pin by pin, or we can apply hot air while being careful, and we're going to apply it in like a U shape, like this. One of the two options. Which one should we do? Now, if I am to remove this connector without applying hot air, then we have to apply low melt solder on all the pins and we would apply a tiny bit of hot air to remove that connector. Tough one. Let's go for hot air. I mean, this board, I do not think this board is more than two, three layers. So I think a little bit of hot air should do it. And I'm not able to zoom out anymore unless I use another Barlow lens. But I'm okay now. And we have to be careful, we do not want to pop this battery. So I'm not going to apply heat all the way here. Maybe I can put a heat sink over that battery. Or something to cover it. So we are going in a U shape.
All right, and we did it. Let's prep the pads. And for this one, we're gonna be using the NF.mini soldering pen. If you are in the same type of business or you are doing this as a hobby, you can purchase all your tools from our site, including the NF.mini pen, which we're gonna be using here. Original Ampac flux, hot air stations, soldering stations, thermal cameras, power supply. All right, so we tinned all those pads. I'm gonna go over the pads one more time just to make sure that we removed the unleaded and completely put unleaded. We have a lot of glare. Let's use our anti-glare light, which we still have in stock. And I just want you to see the difference between anti-glare and the ring light. Day and night. Look at the clarity, no more glare, no more reflections. The Northridge Fix anti-glare light. How many times do I need to repeat myself? If you have not already bought one, now is the time. See, when a joint is shiny, it means we have leaded solder. When it's matte finish, it means we still have unleaded. Let's go ahead and use the new connector the customer included. He did mail over another connector. And hopefully we will get this right from the first try. We do not have another chance. Right, we should be good. All we need to do is reflow. Right, and I think we did an amazing job. We're gonna have to go over the pins, make sure everything is solid. Keep holding, keep holding. Do not let go of the tweezer yet. Your wife calls, your mother calls, do not answer, keep holding. A robber comes in to rob you, steal stuff from your shop, keep holding. Now you can let go. Follow that robber, call your wife, call your mother, whoever. And we have a perfectly soldered connector. Way better than factory. Pin number one, pin number one is solid. Number two, number three. Look at this. Look at this amazing job. How can anyone possibly do a better job? It's not possible. Doing a better job is physically, scientifically not possible. Who does this guy think he is? Superman? If you want. So how much are we gonna charge the customer extra for making this video? That's the question. From now on, anybody asking for a video will have to pay extra by request. If I choose to make a video on my own, no charge. 
if you specifically request for a video, you're going to leave a tip, right? Why not? Not everything is about money. Not if you are in business. If you are in business, everything is about money. Life? No, it's not about money. There's much more important stuff than money. But if you are in business, I hope it's about money. Otherwise, you're going to fail miserably. Do not mix your life values with business. You start the business so you can make money. Something is beeping. Hold on. The alarm went on Big Boss's vehicle. So we went outside, there was a car passing by. And we did not know if that car hit his car, but we did not see any damage. And that latch is intact. Just before we end the video, I want to quickly test the reader. I do have an SD card right next to me. And let's do this. I'm going to insert the card. When I press it down, it should click. Another press, it should release. And the card should be facing outwards like I have it now. Press. Amazing. Awesome. Again, release. Press, release. Wow. We did it. We got to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.